So thanks very much, Henry. I think one of the, uh, the key things that Henry said there was you know, just that level of support that uh, Jade receives from Skipton um, is really, you know, is really, really solid, it's really substantial and exceptionally helpful. So um, that support has enabled us to figure out our strategy for the next few years and uh, I know that we can invest in that in a really, you know, uh, solid way, making sure we can bring some things to life. So, so that Skipton backing and also them as a customer means that, you know, we're, we're in a really great place um, as a business and for myself and my leadership team. So when I... Um, what I just wanted to take through now was just one slide, because I know you want to get stuck into the tech side of things. Um, but when I was here last time, I just started with the organisation, so I've been here just a, a couple of months. And so in the last 12 months, we've been working on our strategy. So I think when I was uh, here last time, we touched a little bit on the strategy that we're coming up with. So this is a wee bit of a look at how that's gone and what that means is coming up next. So, um, so, so. Fundamentally, uh, what we've been doing over the last 12 months has been to actually start to organise ourselves around you, so around our customers. So that means that when we've looked at our processes um, and our engagements and the way we work, we've said what actually is the, the customer needing here, what's the customer pro problem that needs to be solved, and how do we make sure that we have that at the centre of our, all our discussions so we're not about technology push. So how do we organise ourselves a slightly different way so we're actually listening first. And, and I think we've had some really great examples of that over the years and some really great success. This is making sure the whole of us is lined up that way. And to that point, uh, the other key thing we've been working on over the last 12 months is getting us all lined up as an integrated whole jade, not, not lots of little bits of jade, but as an integrated whole around our customers. So when we, when we come to engage now, we're engaging more as the whole breadth of jade. So not just the, the jade platform piece, or not just the managed service piece, or not just the digital piece, but when we come, we come with the full experience of the team cross-functionally. So that's a work in progress, but it's a, it's a key piece for us in terms of our strategy and actually growing the company and growing our customers by bringing the full team to the picture. So those are kind of two, uh, I feel like, cultural pieces that we've been working on over the last 12 months. While we've been doing that, we've been doing some good things in terms of actually just delivering on the fundamentals. So um, uh, this last year, 2018, we had another really strong year in terms of profit and profitability. So that's two profitable years, strong profit years in a row now, um, bearing in mind that we really haven't made a profit in the sort of 12 years prior. So big change with the reorganisation and the splitting out of logistics from, from Jade Software. We've been able to put a really strong focus on Jade, Jade Software, Jade Plant. And, and that's enabled us to, to really um, bring in some good profits to help reinvest in the future. So two strong years of profit. And actually, for the first time now, I think just about ever, we're able to give a dividend uh, to Skipton. So that's really nice to be able to give back to, you know, to our shareholder who's been so supportive over the years. So that's a big deal for us. Um, alongside that, we've also, as I mentioned, you know, started to think about, about ourselves as a whole jade. So going from right from the jade core product, the, the language of the plant, all the way through to the, the, the very sort of other end of things for us, if you like, which is in the, the machine learning, the data science, the data insights piece, and everything in between. So enterprise applications, digital transformation, managed services, AI, the whole, the whole sort of end-to-end -end piece. So we're starting to think of ourselves as a, as a whole offering in that way. And because of that, we're starting to bring new solutions to our customers as well. So we've got some really nice examples that have occurred over the last 12 months where a, a traditional Jade user, um, and I think one in particular in the UK, we have started to work with them. We've been working with them for a long time in terms of skins and then enterprise applications. In the last 12 months, we've started to bring digital transformation to them as well. And with that, we've brought on board AI and also the machine learning, data science side of things as well. So data insights, bringing that into it. So that starts to bring the whole of our offering together, if you like, in kind of a circle. And I'll come back to that in, in a moment. <clears throat> so those are, that's, that's the, in terms of the tactical side of things, how we've been doing in the last 12 months. So a really strong base. So in terms of, you know, where are we going? Have we got the, the guts to, you know, to keep going for years and years? Yes, we have. We've got a really good strategy and some really great funding and deliverables. And then um, the last part of that is that, so we're making money, so what are we doing with that? Well, we're investing in, in a number of really key areas. First, we've invested in the last 12 months in product and, and technology teams and strategies. And I think the interesting piece there, two interesting pieces, one is you're going to hear from Ashley later on today talking about the product roadmap. So we're bringing some, some really strong thinking um, and experience around, around product roadmaps to help support what John's done in the past 
and really make sure we've got, a, a, you know, really we're really listening and building a strong pathway for all of you with your businesses. That's one. Two, we've created for the first time in, in many years a, a technology strategy. And, um, and this actually helps us as a whole business understand where we're going and what are the new technologies in the future that we're bringing into the business and bringing to our customers and sort of connecting the dots with to help solve problems. So that's, um, we'll talk probably more about that in the future and anyone who wants to maybe touch base on that over the coming months or so, just sing out to myself or John or any of the team and we can talk a wee bit more about that. But it's a, it's a really strong pathway for our customers and for us. And then the other, other key area we've been investing in is around skills and partners. And that's particularly in the area of our, our digital employee, or if you like, chatbots and AI, and also in data science, or more specifically, data insights. So both in, in both of those areas, we've really we've had a, a strong capability anyway, but we've really been building that out and investing in it in the last 12 months, and we've got strong plans for that going forward. You're going to hear from Tim Warren after the break, um, talking on that uh, chatbot side of things, the conversational piece, the digital employee part. It's a really interesting part of the puzzle. And then, of course, we have our, our data science team who are there to help us unlock data insights. This kind of comes back to this whole theme today around connect. And it, this, what, what we actually see with the strategy that we've taken is we're actually creating a connection. But if we look at our, at our and, and if you look at your businesses with the Jade Core, it's kind of a, a, it's a very strong, stable base. It's been, you know, it's very mature. And what we're doing is we're bringing all the way through the uh, enterprise apps, apps, digital transformation, now through into AI and, and the data insights, we're actually connecting a circle there. So we're able to start to now bring really strong data insights out of those uh, mature or legacy Jade databases and start to, start to help you understand some different parts of your business that maybe you couldn't see before and help solve problems with that data and, and realize new ways of actually giving you a competitive advantage. So instead of being a, a linear jade, if you like, all the way from plant through to, to AI and, and um, data science, we're now actually kind of a circle of jade. And that's what we want to bring to our conversations with, with all of you when we're looking at, at the problems that you have. It's that whole circle of jade uh, where we're leveraging everything from the, the, the core data that you have with data science and the whole way through. So today you're going to hear more about that, and I suppose that's what I'm really excited about today is what we're talking about today is really tangible. It's actually here and now, but it can really shift your business and really um, shift you in terms of your com competitive position in the marketplace as well. So looking forward to hearing what you think of it at the end of the day, <clears throat> and what you what you think you know might be your next steps as a consequence. Um, for now, though, uh, I'll wrap, and we'll, we'll, what we're going to do now is have an exec Q and A session. Um, and so any questions you might have for me, we'll wrap up into that, and then we'll move on to morning tea from there. Is that right, John? Right, cool. So, um, yeah, so uh, between John and myself and, and Henry, who you heard from before, um, do you have any particular questions, uh, you know, in terms of where we're taking the business, how we're taking the business, the support for it? It's fine if you don't, but no. Yeah, yes, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah, that works. That's good. Hey, uh, thank you. Um, excellent <coughs> wrap up of what um, uh, where Jed is heading towards. Just wondering that um, when we are thinking about the whole con kind of convolution of um, things like um, when you're thinking about the digital future, uh, are you thinking an integrated uh, visualization platform because the machine learning, the AI, uh, the managers at that user end would be much interested in the dashboard yes. side of things, etc. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that's where, um, when it comes to looking at problems, it's important to understand, to understand you know, the whole spectrum of what the problem is. <coughs> Excuse me, and more often than not, it is about, um, it's not just having streams and streams of data, it's about how to visualize that in a way, in a way that really makes sense. And so when um, you hear Shane Goodwin talk later on, um, that's part of the expertise that he and his team bring to the conversations that we have. So they help, under, help us understand, help us being you know, our customers and us understand what is the problem that that's, is most important and how do we make that visual or make that accessible to the key people in the organisation who need to see it or understand it, or in fact to make it um, visible and accessible to your customers or consumers in some way. Because that's often actually where you want that, that visualisation to be. So yeah, absolutely, visualisation is really key. Yeah. Hi. Um, so my question is actually for Henry. Um, 
uh, you mentioned earlier um, uh, open banking in the UK, uh, which is a compliance thing. In New Zealand, we've got um, Payments New Zealand with, apparently they've got six initiatives, one of which is open banking, and they've been looking at the uh, European, the UK, um, US, uh, so on, Australia. Once that happens, um, and it's just a matter of time, um, was, is there any sort of suggestions you've got around having a um, you know, core sort of legacy system in Jade, and then you know, opening that up for compliance for things like um, open banking? Any, any sort of insights from your... Yeah, I, mean, I think open banking is pretty much a year old, probably about four or five weeks ago. Uh, I think if you said, has it revolutionised the UK and banking, you'd go, absolutely not. Um, partly because, uh, as you articulate, it's been very much treated at the moment as a kind of compliance initiative. They have to produce some the big big nine, as they're known, the CMA nine, have to produce some information, and it's and it's it's a bit like that at the moment, rather than kind of revolutionising the user experience and, and the market. Um, that's not to say that people are starting to do that. So, uh, you know, I have my banking app in my pocket. I could get my banking data from that West I bank with. I could get my savings data from X, Y, Z, and everything like that. So you are starting to see single views, if you see what I mean, of all your customer data, whoever's uh, 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 database it is held within. Um, trust is the word that is most often used. So you know the capabilities are all there to do that. Um, user take up is probably painfully slow, uh, and mostly it's kind of what is really in it for the consumer at that point. What is that kind of service USP, service proposition to it? And the answer is nothing really. It's not that you know it, it's not being intelligent in any way. It's not moving your money around in any way or anything like that. Uh, so we do think it will take off. Uh, probably with quite a lot of these things, it's usually a slower adoption, but then moves pretty quickly once it starts to get adoption. Uh, but we don't see that in the near near future at the moment. That's mostly on the on the customer experience side. On the mortgage side, where we do see it happening much more, uh, and it, it it's kind of gets badged at open banking, but it's not really open banking in terms of legislation, but it's just APIs enabling you to do these things. So um, yeah, in the UK, we'll have valuations, we'll have what we call conveyances, which are solicitors. I don't know the terminology over here, and that is the most painful process in the world at the moment. Um, so we'll do an application to offer in the UK of about 10, 11 days. Uh, we want to get that to 15 minutes. So we need to then connect with valuation methodology systems and stuff through the portals. We then need to connect to solicitors, effectively into the deeds and the, and the and UK land registry and things like that. So we, again, we see that happening. You see it happening quite slowly at times. Most of those are in beta pilot projects probably at the moment with one or two, but it, it will happen. Um, and then, I can't remember what I was going to say, the third thing we are seeing, which I'm going to forget what I was just trying to say. Um, uh, I can't think what I was going to say. So, um, yeah, so it, it's happened. Uh, you say, as I say, most people have compliant with it. Uh, value add there from a consumer point of view is pretty much zero. Uh, but it is building effectively capability and the ability to do it, although we probably see it really taking off perhaps one and a half, two years' time or something like that. Is that okay? Is that, is that, is that? Any other questions? John has a question? Thanks, <laughs> Ashley. Um, we're about to have one routine, and I can, we can hear it being prepared, but I've, I've just realised that we didn't do our normal um, question and prize session after Henry's thought, so we'll, we'll catch that up now. And so, for those of you that have been here before, will remember that the drill is that I kind of ask you a question related to Henry's talk, and because you were all paying attention, most of you will know the answer. The first one to get their hand up and I pick, and has the correct answer, will win one of our amazing uh, Connect themed prizes. And the prizes will progress through the day, and at the end of the day, there's a special prize. So, which John won last year. Now, the first. First question I'm going to go with from Henry's presentation, so I'm afraid I'm going to exclude the NWI guys from answering, um, just because. Right, so from Henry's presentation, in that he mentioned a certain number of transactions per day that the core system handles. Callum? Over a million. Great. Right. 
and, and we've got enough prizes that we can afford to do one more. So from Henry's presentation again, he mentioned on there, actually how hard should we, who, who wants a harder question? Oh. <laughs> Okay. So Henry, Henry talked about a certain number of online users they have. Oh, oh, I haven't asked the question yet. Henry talked about a certain number of online users that they have, but the number on the slide was different. What was the number on the slide? Huh? 290. Yep. We probably put a few more on yesterday. <laughs> and now I'll just do one more. And this one's actually from Charlotte. And I'm not going to exclude all of the Jade team from answering this question. In Charlotte's bio, she mentioned a particular vehicle that she's very... Jeep? Yes. 